Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Mr. Snow again, and we are currently in front of the Guyana Post Office Corporation building, right? Uh, following up on the investigation that we had. So currently, let me see, we got the little sign right here, opening hours, okay? Uh, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., and Saturdays, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., right? So, we are also here today with the individual that we sent yesterday to conclude the transaction. Okay, we still have to wait in line. Oh. Let, let's see what's going on here. Nobody want to do it around the car yet. This is the radio Hi, good day. How are you doing? Um, I had sent this gentleman here. Right. I had sent this gentleman here yesterday to do this registered mail. He had returned. Yes, he had returned with all of these letters saying that uh, no one had given him the slips. So I was very curious because I've got persons, some payroll letters here. I've got things that people actually need to collect. Which is why I was. But you went yesterday. You didn't send me around the car. No? I just spoke with the girl. She said she didn't see you. you. Just spoke with the girl. I went back there. The security. May you send me? Well, let's go back there. Yeah, so, because I just asked her if she see you, and she said she didn't see you. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's very, very strange because the English lady gave me a phone number, telling me a whole bunch of stupidness about this. They got a you know, card and number when they okay, yeah. leave the stuff. You stop. put around, please. No, no, no. Why the security the middle gate there? Mm -hmm. That's where I went. Okay, so the my question gate. is, who, who who is supposed to collect these and give me the slip? But you won't get the slip right away. Okay. Because the process, it got to, the person got to sit and enter it. They got other work to do. This what was explaining to him yesterday. So the lady was telling me to leave it. Yeah, you I, have I to didn't want to leave it. You have to leave it how they're going to enter it. It got to enter. Okay, so then, but how will we have any verification that if we leave this, this is exactly what's being done? Because they have to enter it and, you know, it's, it's four to four. You got to come back and collect four to four receipts. Four to yeah. five, I have to buy extra yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. four to five of them. Right? So all now you would have done, get back your receipt. Right? So, no, so. No, but what is your receipt to prove that? It, it, it's because it's a registered mail. Exactly. No, 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 no. But this is. There's a stamp. That's a stamp. That's not a receipt. Okay, so mom, who, who do I have to go, go to? Go out, go around to the gate, tell the security you want to speak with the officer to register the email. They can collect it, you got to come back for it. Like I said, they got other work to do. They go collect it, they enter it, and you come back. They're going to tell you when to come back, and you collect it, you collect four to five receipts. Yes. They okay. won't get it right away because they won't sit right away because they got work, other work to do. Okay. So, but if it was one, they would have did one right away. Correct. Okay. So there, so this would be considered bulk mail. Correct. Okay. So there's a different procedure for bulk mail. Okay. So when I leave it, let, let's say they misplace one. They won't misplace the mail. Don't have to put negatives. Because if you give them a bottle of mail, it's likely they will put the mail, rub on it, and they enter one after the other. Okay. Because you do know sometimes you, you do have right. user faults and so stuff like that. For those things, it's official and you're supposed make, make to make make it make professional man. If you understand okay. what I'm saying to you, okay, because I figured you know you, you have a lot of people working. I, I, I just didn't yeah, know but they got other tasks to right. carry on. because you know, I'm, I'm like me, for instance, what I try to do, I try to find persons who normally can't get work any, anywhere else, such as this older gentleman, mm -hmm. and I try to give them employment. So I didn't even mind paying a gentleman to sit there while this is being done. So that it could be done correctly because, you know, we are trying to create employment for a person who, you know, you can't send this man to do any real physical labor and kill him. Right? You don't have charge. Up yesterday, you had the fruits and everything. Right? The two guys tried to break it and it bust on the road. Oh, scoots. <laughs> right? All right, so go and around. The, the better. You go early, they can get it started. Yes. Early. So go around this corner here. You know, you're going to show me where you went, but apparently you went the wrong place. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll show you exactly where I went. I went the right place. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mom.
Yeah. Well, we gotta verify because I like getting the job done right the first time. There we go. Okay, so apparently the issue here is that because it's bulk mail, they don't have the time to do it all at one time. Okay. At least so they say. But we still come to the issue to where, you know, it's the post office, they're dropping it off. And, you know, we have so many people in the country that still need work. They should employ some of these persons in Guyana so that they could do some of this work and help to ease the headache. I don't realize, though, why you have to go from one direction, one side of the post office. Then you have to come out. You have to walk through the alleyway now to come around the next side of the post office to drop off uh, the mail. So I'm, I'm just still trying to figure out what type of system this is. But everybody who's coming to Guyana or anyone who's doing certain work, right? Please do uh, view how these things work be because I, I think something is wrong, right? So I guess I guess this is this is where we're coming here. This looks kind of more like a prison. So what's going on? So this is where we're coming to drop off uh, the bulk mail. Okay, we're coming to this particular area here. I feel like you remember me from yesterday. Yes, sir. Hi, good day, mom. I, I had to come with this gentleman here to verify what was really going on because I never really had such an inc incident with uh, registered mail, right? He was telling me that he was asked to drop this off and no one would have given him any type of slip or anything to show that he... All he had to do was come back for the receipt him today. Okay. He said that you were not going to want to receive them. Yeah, but, well, normally when I go and I do registered mail, they give you a slip. Well, that well, that's why I didn't use the Agricola Post Office. I didn't use the Peter's All Post Office. Uh, all all of them sent me down. They, they they told me straight come down to GPO. GPO has the amount of people here to get it done. So I, I I've been following that procedure. I came down here and then I'm hearing that you know you still gotta wait X amount of time. I'm saying this is this is the main post office of the country. Part to five letters shouldn't take a whole day when you got other things going on because you know it's the main post office in the country. Right? So So what would be the procedure here, Mom? That's not going to be a Okay, thank you very much. Hey, is your dad so? Uh, Alright guys, so we are getting this thing sorted out. Just trying to find out procedures correctly because every month we have to send out mail like this so it does work out. Hi, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yes. I I'm here to get me so it's bulk mail this is custom you don't want to wait, you want it to be done right now and give him his receipt or are some or is it why you call or, no, but my question is, is there something that they give you to say that, hey, well, uh, we collected 45 no. letters, oh, yeah, yeah. so yeah. you would, you, you understand what yeah. I mean? They, they, no, there should be something, because let's say, let's say no, I leave this and I come back. come back for your receipt. No, well, my, my. Okay, hold on, stop. I'm not no, going to go to but my, my, my question is simple. Yeah, I if, if I leave far the five letters right. here and I come back tomorrow morning to collect the slips and they give me far the slips. Sorry, no, 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 but you, you understand. Yeah, so, so can I at least get something stated? But, you know, we collected 45. Yeah, that, 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 that's, all, that's all I'm concerned about. Because remember, there's people's bonuses, there's certain things, there's a reason why we're sending it registered mail. And I think that anybody waiting on something would like to know that we they yeah they, they they did their things properly i, I just want to make sure because you know if people don't get their pay people gonna come and say hey you know boss man you 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 ain't send these things out you ain't do your part and and then i gonna find myself on tv and people gonna say this man doing fraud so i ain't want that right this guy so it's just a simple little thing that's going on uh, and I think it's something that could easily be worked out. So we are currently working it out right now with the customer service for Hi. GPO. Hi. Good morning. Good How are you morning. doing? Yes. Uh, we just have a simple little issue, right? Uh, we're doing some bulk registered mail, okay? And I was told that we can leave it here and pick up the receipts later. 
My only concern is that when we leave 45 letters here, is there something that we are given to state that we actually left 45 letters? When you come back, you get 45 receipts. No, but, no, 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 but no, what, if, what if in the mix of that, something happens? It's a busy place, you know? And, and let's say, let's say when we come back, we only get 5 to receipt. And they say, well, well what, what you could do, I would advise that you, you come at 7 in the morning and you sit the whole day and get it. Whenever you're done, you collect your receipt. Well, but we are finished with your car. Back no, no, well, 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 I, I do understand that because I Because I, I at did, the end of the I day, did, we won't give you anything. If you give us 5 to 5 mail, we ex you expect when you come back, we give you 5 to 5 receipt. When we reach the bridge that you don't get 5 to 5 receipt, we, we will cross it. But for now, I no, want to be positive that you give no, me five. No, five no, no, no I, I understand that. I understand that. that. That's all fine and that's that's okay. But let's just you say an accident happens. Something happens. The, you know, the breeze blows. Somebody excuse turn it back me, for a second. Excuse me, are you videoing the conversation? Uh, yes, I actually, I actually am. Cody, I'm out of this. This is not prohibited. This is totally wrong what this customer is doing. You understand me? If I send him back to the counter, you cannot do what you're doing there. And please call Mr. Williams to me. Please call Mr. Williams to me. I'm actually videoing my experience. Yeah, but you cannot do that. You're supposed to ask me or ask anybody before you do what you're doing, sir. It is totally unacceptable and I'm asking nicely. Please delete what you're doing. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a follow-up on what was going on at Guyana Post Office Corporation building today on January 3rd 2020 okay as you would have noticed in the clip just now that we showed uh, I was asked to stop filming of course being in their premises I did stop filming security was called on me uh, a gentleman by the name of Mr. Williams came uh, they put me out of the building okay um, from there I did request to speak with the management I was directed to management okay upon getting to management I was able to speak with the public relations officer of GPO she was very very helpful her name is uh, Miss McClure okay I spoke with her and I also spoke with a uh, manager there I, I didn't get to get the uh, gentleman's name of course I didn't get an opportunity to video those things because security was there and they were giving me a problem uh, in terms of being able to video however I did relay the issue over to the public relations officer and to the manager there and I thank them very very much by notifying their staff that you know if you expect a customer to leave something with you there should be some something given to the customer to ensure that there is some degree of accountability okay what ended up happening in the conclusion of this scenario all right uh, is that I was able to leave the old man there, right? Because I did give him a job, very simple task, which was to sit there while everything was written up, okay? And in turn, I've got my 40, 45, 45 registered slips or receipts from GPO, thanks to the management there for ensuring that the staff knows that when you collect something from a customer you must give them something in return okay uh, yes it did take a couple hours maybe but GPO did get it done but it leaves me to question what happens when you don't get in contact with the management you know uh, the behavior of the staff there it wasn't horrible but I think it just showcased that they were not very knowledgeable of what they could do and what they should be doing. I think that there needs to be a little bit more training, some structuring there. The Guyana Post Office Corporation is a very important um, entity in this country, in Guyana. Okay. Uh, likewise, I think all mail carriers or carriers, okay, are important in every country. They're, they should carry some of the strictest strictest rules of uh, confidentiality and accountability because of what they deal with right there's a lot of a lot of important stuff for instance today documents that i was sending out uh dealt with persons pay some were checks um some were bills 
There are a lot of different things that have to go out to persons. And these are things that should have been done a week ago, two weeks ago. But the post offices on the East Bank, uh, Agricola, these areas, you know, they, they, they refused to do it at that moment and told us that we had to go to GPO. Um, simply because, you know, they're, they're understaffed or they don't have the time to sit there and write up the receipts. Maybe, I'm not sure how they would be able to do this and make this more legit or easier. But uh, when it comes time that you have to write up slips like this for registered mail, because I can tell you every month I'm sending registered mail out. And uh, when you check up all the money that I'm spending on registered mail every month to send it out, right? I spend about twenty to $30,000 a month on registered mail, okay? This being the case, this is only about, I mean about six, five or something. Right, uh, not counting, not counting, you know, paper, ink, and all this stuff to produce these letters. So, you know, uh, you definitely want to see that your mail gets where it's going, and uh, make sure that everything is done legitimately. All right, um, there's a reason why a lot of people's mail gets lost because persons don't take the time to to mail via registered mail. I will uh, encourage all persons in Guyana, if you got to send out a letter and it should be important, do it registered mail. Make sure it's getting where it's going. <laughs> and make sure people uh, can get their bills or they can get their, they can get their uh, paychecks. They can, get, they can get these things via mail. The mail is supposed to be a trustworthy place. Okay. Um, you can see on my wall right here. Okay. Those are U.S. postal money orders. It's about two thousand U.S. dollars in uh, money orders. Let me show you real fast, right? And when I gave money over to the U.S. Postal Service to collect these money orders, and in fact, uh, I lapsed. I wonder if my money's still there. I put my money in there and never withdraw it yet, right? About what, nine nine hundred sixty-one U.S. by two, right? So I've got that money just still inside U.S. Uh, Postal Service, this part of an investigation that we've been doing on them, likewise to see what is actually going on there. Uh, but that's a whole different story because we do investigations all over the world on service and standards. Right, but I did want people to see that because there is something going on there. Okay. Um, bottom line is for this particular investigation here, management knows what they're doing, they know the protocols. Uh, the staff, however, I think they'll just go ahead and try to make things a little bit more convenient for themselves. But at the same time, in doing so, there are a lot of important processes that are possibly being skipped. I think that more training needs to be done. Um, you know, the fact that, like in my, my instance today, 45 letters, 45 just, you know, 45 registered letters... Uh, would have taken a couple hours to do, right? And um, that's that's bad. This is very bad, right? Um, we're talking about the largest post office in the country. Uh, 45 letters that the general staff, I'm not saying the management, I will tell you the general staff, okay, made a big deal over uh, just writing up the slips for 45 letters. Uh, why is that such a problem? So when thousands of letters are coming through there day in and day out, what happens to all of that mail, right? Um, you know, what processes is going through? Is that why things take so long? I mean, you know, just thinking about it makes me tired, right? Uh, it's, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's crazy, right? Um, but I did want to thank Miss McClure, and I did want to thank the manager there. I, I, I totally spaced on his name, so please forgive me, sir, okay? But you guys today are my heroes, okay? Because you went down there, you got it sorted out, okay? Um, for those of you, you know, I know you see a lot of videos on social media where uh, persons just want to keep the video rolling, right? Sometimes it's okay to do in this particular situation. It was not needed for me to do. I did not want to aggravate the situation more than it needed to be. In fact, I wanted to de-escalate the situation, which is why I turned off the camera. Uh, 
prior to the camera being turned off, you would have heard uh, the arguments placed by the staff there. Okay, and uh, to me personally, none of it made sense. Please leave your comments at the bottom and let me know if any of those things made sense uh, that you heard that, you know, you should pay money, you should just leave your stuff and come back later, and hopefully it's okay. Uh, I, I don't believe in that. I think that government agencies need to have more accountability, and that was one of the uh, purposes of this. Please do understand that yesterday I sent an East Indian gentleman, an older, a 71-year-old East Indian gentleman, into GPO, and he was given a runaround. He, you know, he was, he was, um, you know, taken for granted, in my opinion, being sent here, being sent there, you know. And uh, the woman apparently, she, she knew him because she remembered he was eating something, right? So she paid attention to all of that, but no one paid attention to the fact that the man paid his money, and no receipt was given to him, or no proof, or indication that he had made those payments were were delivered to this gentleman. And I think there's a lot more to be investigated at the post office in relation to that due to the fact that, you know, when you pay money anyway, especially government agencies, there should be receipts handed to you. You should get something. I mean, let's face it. Our country is not an honest country. And if we don't have systems of accountability in place, a lot of a lot of nonsense will happen. OK, um, way, way back in the past, in 2003, I remember losing thousands of U.S. dollars worth of goods that were shipped to me. And uh, there was no system of accountability in place since then. Uh, I tried my best to, to not use the post office if I don't have to. But in cases of general legalized letters and things, like, you have to. I can't avoid that. Right? So that is, that is the legal way that you have to go. So I make sure that I follow the rules when I'm dealing with my billing, when I'm dealing with payroll, when I'm dealing with all of these things. It is important right uh over five million dollars in letters there if those things weren't done right what could happen right some people wouldn't have got their their bonuses you know some of our staff they got their bonuses after the christmas holiday so that they actually have a lot of money when everyone else is broke right uh, we don't give our staff bonuses right before the holiday uh, they might get a little christmas pay extra but that's not necessarily a bonus we give bonuses after the holidays when i think that uh they need it the most you know, you're broke now. Here's an extra hundred thousand dollars. Congratulations, right? Big up, right? Um, that's kind of how we do it. We like to we like to bring cheer after the holidays, not just during the holidays. Okay. Uh, I would like to thank the philanthropist, Mr. George Correa, who also donated funds uh, to be sent out to staff and workers um, as an extra bonus. We thank you very much. I right? thank the Job Fair Worldwide Network for uh, making it possible for these things to be done. Right, we'd like to thank all the viewers who come on board. Uh, if you like what we're doing, you want to contribute to the show, you want to make the show a little bit better, you know, you can contact us six two two one nine five seven, or just send us a message right here on Facebook or right here on YouTube, and um, you know, let us know what's going on, and you know, we we can go, we can investigate a lot of things for you, and get down to the bottom of things, and uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bare faced, so I don't mind jumping out there, okay? And uh, yeah, hopefully that these videos that we do, they can help improve the quality of life that we have here in Guyana. And uh, we definitely just want to make things better for everyone. Okay, so thank you very much. And I uh, just wanted once again to thank Miss McClure and also the manager, okay, of GPO who assisted in rectifying the issue and educating his staff there today in terms of procedures and protocols and thank you very much for giving the elderly east indian gentleman uh, some respect and and assisting him while he was able to finish out his duties today i'm sorry i myself had to come down there but everything happens for a reason okay and uh please next time a customer is there and they're just trying to find out the bottom line to stuff uh it's not appropriate to actually call security and put the person out of the building uh, so for the staff that's watching this, you know, I don't hate you guys. I love you guys respect and I do understand you probably got shook up You didn't know what to do there. I'm not there to insult you. I'm not there to irritate you I'm not there to do anything. I'm just there to tell it as it is or I have to shut up, right? So uh, so in the meantime Guyana, thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care. I hope you enjoy the show Share like and help this thing grow Bye